Hi, this is Chris Blama with Jai Crispy Consulting, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a Bitbucket as your main repository source when using Mercurial. So to start off, you just point your browser to bitbucket.org and log in or create account if you don't already have one. It's free. Now, I already have a couple repositories. But let's say you were starting off and you wanted to create a new repository. So you just go up to the repositories area, create a new repository, give it a name. We'll call it Bitbucket Sample. You can specify a language, we'll say C Sharp. And private, we don't want everyone to have access to that. You can choose whether you want to enable issue tracking or the wiki. I'll just turn those off for now. We're not going to use them for this demo project. Create the repository. And that's it. It's created a repository for us. And now it says how to clone the repository. So you see HG clone HTTPS and the path to your new repository. So if you're using Tortoise, I have a empty directory here. So I'll just create a new folder. And this is my demo project. So I want to clone this. I just go to my right click, go to my Tortoise HG menu, clone. And then for my source path, instead of it being a local directory or something like that, I just use this path here. So I'll just copy this paste it there and say clone. Ask for my password again. And there we go. It's cloned. So now that your repository has been cloned, you can continue working with it just like normal. You can add your documents, push them up, pull changes down. Everything works exactly as you've seen it in previous demos, but the benefit is now that you're using the online Bitbucket repository uh, you don't have to worry about any local systems going down or if you had your, your main thing on a, a network share, if that went down. Uh, the Bitbucket handles all the backups and everything for you, so it's a pretty reliable place to store your code. So it's that easy to use Bitbucket as your repository host. That does it for this video. Thank you for watching.